right, thank you for joining us today in this presentation of print server or direct IP printing, which is best for you. I'm Andrew Parlett, C2 at Triceret. And I'm Nick Lani-Kitkin, a lead architect here at Triceret. Uh, so today we're going to be covering, uh, as Andrew said, you know, print servers versus direct IP. We'll talk through some of the pros and cons for both. Uh, and then we'll finish up with some recap and some suggestions we have. So we both work for Triceret, and yeah. we have a print product that is geared for the enterprise print management space, especially EUC printing. Uh, so we have that experience that we're coming from, but sure. today we want to talk about it a little more in generic terms. We've seen over those 20 years, we've had a lot of experience with uh, first party, what's available on the Windows platform and other architectures. Uh, so we want to talk about what we've seen with print servers, what we've seen with uh, direct IP, but also uh, experience with third party tools and where that makes sense to apply. Uh, we actually put a blog out on our site uh, some, uh, I think a couple years ago yep. about this topic uh, and it generated a lot of interest. So we'll be building on that some today. Yep. Yep. And I think uh, a good place to start is to talk about uh, print servers. Um, that's the most kind of standard way of enterprise print management, it seems like, over the last decade or more, right? Everybody kind of knows what a print server is. Um, there, you know, some of the some of the benefits of a print server, right? Maybe we should start there, I think. First off, again, just because it's been around for so long, there's plenty of information out there how to set up one up and, and, and get one running. And it's fairly straightforward. You install the role, you install some print codes, you're off to the races, right? Um, so th that's, a, that's a great place um, to start for administrators looking for uh, print management. It's fairly straightforward. Right. Pretty much since the first Windows server, we've had file and print management. Yeah. So obviously things have built from there, but a lot of the core of that kind of printer sharing uh, yeah. was defined uh, quite a while back, which is both a good and a bad thing. We'll get into both sides of that. But for the good side, uh, it's well known in other architectures, yeah. you know, Mac and Linux can connect in just as well. Uh, also, when you talk, start looking at it scaling up, obviously it's simple to set up, but when you get into the more complex environments, a print server brings an advantage of taking client print jobs, streaming them yeah. through the Windows print spooler, and then distributing them out to the printer. And so having that central pathway for print jobs helps in those complex environments to really uh, regulate the performance of printing. Yeah, and this can lead into some of that centralization as well, right? If it's much easier to set up a print server with uh, a whole bunch of print queues on it for your, uh, various end users than it is to individually install a couple of hundred, you know, however many printers you might have. Uh, again, folks can go there for end users and IT administrators can go to the print server for their various tasks. So an end user might go to the print server to add a printer, while administrator might go there to distribute printers. Everybody kind of knows where it is. Uh, it's all that centralized management in, in its place. And again, it's easy for end users because they know the process. And on Windows, having the ability to have the drivers on the print server for the different client architectures yeah. makes a difference. And so, like you mentioned, a user that browses Active Directory can find uh, print servers and printers and add them in and yeah. have the driver download automatically. And from the administrator side, there are some tools that you can use. GPOs, you can distribute printers out that way. Sure. Uh, even in a scripting, like a PowerShell login script, uh, it's not that difficult uh, for an administrator to write a line that takes a printer and adds it to a user. Uh, now, when you start scaling up, that right. becomes more challenging, but at its simplest, uh, that is a possibility. I think that's a pretty good list of pros. Yeah. What about some of the downsides of print servers? Well, I think the most obvious one uh, is it's one server. It's the single point of failure, right? I mean, I, I think everybody has heard the horror stories. I know from my Sysadmin experience, I know I've dealt with this plenty of times. The print server goes down and literally the entire company stops because paper needs to go out. And so that single point of fa failure can be a bit of a sticking point for a lot of organizations. Now, sure, are there um, a, a kind of DR strategies you can apply and high availability on top of that you can apply? Sure, but that, again, that just adds more to the complexity. Yeah, and we are talking about servers here. Yeah. So as environments scale up, you have to have servers that support that. Uh, it's good that you can apply those resources there, but you gotta manage that. You have to have the Windows licenses. You gotta make sure they're in the same patching architecture right. and everything else that you manage servers with. And, yeah. and that is an additional burden that you have to consider in the environment. Um, and yeah, again, from that kind of perspective, right, additional hardware aside, right, um, some of the some of the other kind of cons that, that I've come across is just the, the, the complexity of, all, of it all, is, is having to, especially once you get to a certain size, right? Once you get past like one print server is probably pretty straightforward to manage. But when you get into 10 or 20 print servers, it's 
it's unreasonable to believe that an IT administrator can can um, support all those servers and, and and know exactly where all the various printers are. So a centralized solution uh, might be something that they will look into. Right, so we had that on the pro of where it can scale up in yeah. complex environments, but it also gets unwieldy. Sure. Uh, the last point I'd bring up would be, uh, you know, we mentioned that it's, it's from the beginning of Windows, and that legacy system, while it is a pro, is also a con. And we actually saw that just recently with the print nightmare yeah. scenario, uh, where because of some of these older uh, APIs in place, an exploit was found. And so by by leveraging older technology without using some of the more modern approaches could be uh, a sticking point. For sure, and to speak some of those modern approaches, right? we've already talked about uh, a little bit about administrators looking for a more centralized approach, right? Print servers is the first step in that. Uh, but as, as we talk about these larger environments, as we've said, it's important to have a more centralized place to go. So um, if you're looking to get a better grip on your print server environment, um, you know, look for op opportunities and solutions out there that can help you manage them from a more centralized place. And from a security perspective, right, you're talking about the print nightmare vulnerability and, and the rest of it, look for solutions that meet your organization's security needs. Right. And speaking of those solutions, being able to leverage that centralized print management uh, in a more effective way really helps with the efficiency. And when we start looking at administrator time and we were talking about some of the complexities of managing the yeah. print servers, these are ways that you can take advantages of that list of pros, but still have highly efficient and and not a lot of time spent on it while still taking advantage of that. Yeah, and the, the last point you know to make there is, what's the biggest complexity with print servers, right? It's the print drivers. Mm -hmm. So if you can have a solution in your environment or some kind of approach in your environment where you can maybe not forget all about your but all of your print drivers, but maybe forget about the uh, the, the print drivers on the endpoints. And great, that's another addition to your to your IT portfolio that you can take and and utilize and, and streamline your environment a bit more. So yeah, yeah. excellent point. Okay, let's uh, wrap the print server segment sure. and let's talk a little bit about direct IP printing. Yeah. Uh, so again, some pros and cons. The first one that comes to mind is network layout. What have you seen in your experience? I mean, that's the most obvious pro to me, right? Yeah. Um, when I hit print, it goes to the printer. There's no print server. There's no worrying about where's my data center, where's my print server located. Is that going to affect network? Uh, traffic in a, in a negative way. It's just you hit print and it goes directly to the IP address of the printer. It's, it's kind of funny because the, the, the best benefit of it is in the name. So <laughs> Direct, right. And so especially when we're looking at environments that have smaller offices or distributed where there is a desktop computer running the applications there and the printer right next to it, by optimizing the print path of meaning keeping it local instead of sending it off to a data center or wherever else in the cloud, keep it local. And so um, easier performance goes up in those types sure. of network scenarios. Uh, there's also a level of end user control because a user can manage their own printing. And you know this again kind of goes to both sides of the argument, but uh, for an administrator to just basically enable their users, in some environments that's what's wanted. Yeah, user enablement is a great tool that administrators have in their back pocket. Because again, if you can offload some of that work, some of that work of adding printers to users just through some basic training, then great, you can focus on other things that are important to your IT organization. Um, and you know, uh, one of those things could be, quite literally, dismantling the old print servers, right? right. If, if you're one of those people that got rid of the print servers, right? Less server resources is another great benefit there, because again, all you're really keeping track of is the actual printers themselves. There's no print architecture needed in the, in the, in the back-end systems at all, just, just need the printers, and I guess network cables. Right, so in those scenarios, definitely some, some good pros for direct IP. Uh, but if we look at the other side, you know, number one was also pro and user control. For yeah. a lot of administrators, giving out that level of control to users is a It's almost a dirty word, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a dirty word, that's well put. And, um, you know, that means, A, not just trusting them to be able to manage it, but that it doesn't go bad and it results in more help desk calls. Like, yeah. you have to make sure you have the user population that that works for them, yeah. that they can find the right printer, uh, the name or the IP address, and get the driver. Yeah, and you know, one of the best benefits of print servers tends to be one of the, I wouldn't say worst, but definitely one of the major cons for direct IP, and that's scalability. You know, a couple of hundred users here and there, and that's okay to manage with direct IP, and that's pretty, it's a bit tough, right? It, but it, it's manageable. But when you're talking about that thousands and tens of thousands of users and thousands of printers, it's not very realistic for an IT team to manually manage all of that. Sure, there can be some work done through group policies and scripting and the rest of it, 
but still stuff that you have to constantly touch and upkeep to make sure things are just on the up and up and make sure nothing breaks in the morning. Um, so I think that's definitely one of the, the, the biggest cons to it is there is no, no sense of centralized management there. Right. So let's talk about some of the solutions that you might be able to layer on top of that to really make it better. I think the obvious one is the, the idea of having some form of management uh, and be able to centralize the drivers yeah. and getting them out to the end devices and assigning those printers to users so that the users have the printers that they need without yeah. having to go out and search for them. Yeah, and this, uh, that last point is very important, right? We talked about offloading some of this, some of the stuff on users so they can have a bit more control over their IT, uh, over their IT equipment, and they can add their own printers. That's all well and good, but when the, the systems in place are complex or a little bit convoluted for the average user, it's it's not going to really improve the IT administrator's life. If if anything, it's going to make it worse. So, uh, a, a way to improve it would be to f to find something that makes it a bit more streamlined for the end user to go out and find a printer. Right. Right. Yeah. So some of these solutions can keep the pros of direct IP printing because some environments would really benefit from sure. that. Uh, but still get that extra management. But I do want to point out sometimes the allure is, oh, well, we can cut out some server resources and get rid of the print servers. Okay, maybe you got rid of the print servers, but you added in some other server-based management sure. tools. Uh, so you just have to make sure that you have an understanding of that, that trade-off. Yeah, it's, 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 that's a very important to make, right? If you're, if you're removing a, a, a big layer of management, the print server, you don't want to replace it with something just as complex and just as uh, unwieldy to, uh, to, to manage, right? You want something a bit more streamlined. So it's important to look for a solution that yes, there's gonna be some, some level of management, you're just putting it somewhere else, right? That's really what you're doing here. But you need to make sure you have a solution in place that reduces that management to an acceptable level. So I think that recaps both styles of printing, uh, some of the pros and cons of each one. Let's kind of recap where we stand with kind of the print server column sure. and the direct IP column and the environments that make sense in. Obviously with print servers, the strong points are that centralized management yeah. uh, and also using those uh, the server-based workloads. We kind of alluded to the fact that um, if your endpoints are distributed uh, out at various parts, it's kind of, you know, the important thing to consider is where is the application running? The yeah. application and the document is what's generating the print job. And then as an admin, you have to visualize your network architecture of how does it get from the place with the application to the printer. And then, so if you're running like a VDI environment or a terminal server environment, yep. all that's already in the data center. So leveraging print servers, you can really take advantage of that, of that architecture. Uh, but if the applications are running out at the endpoints, then it makes sense to have kind of the more direct path. Yeah, yeah. And g going back to the end user uh, approach as well, right? Self-service is, is, is a very important step in any IT environment where you're trying to, again, just give users more power, right? And for a print server, that's already there. It's built into the mechanism, right? You can go to add a printer and find a printer on your print server and just add it. Now, obviously, that can eventually become unwieldy, so some of the, some of the, the cons there. Uh, but I think overall, uh, just by implementing a print server, you can give your users a, a sense of self-service just from the get-go there. Um, and of course, just for talking about print servers, and we're talking about solutions for print servers, obviously, right? So that means there must be a lot of solutions out there for them. So that's great, because then you have this, 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 um, this central point for print processing and print management, and you have a wide array of options available to help you centralize and manage all of that. Yeah, there's certainly environments where the, the native first party tools and windows will do what you need yeah. to do. Uh, usually those are smaller, more static environments that don't change as much. Uh, but I think you know what we're presenting is, uh, there's a lot of good scenarios for print servers, but get an additional benefit and value add by adding a third party solution yeah, on top. For sure. Same with if you want to transition or move over to direct IP because you have one of those environments that makes sense. Yep. Again, just straight up direct IP comes with many challenges. Adding on a solution helps kind of really uh, yeah. you know, add some value there as well. So take a look holistically at the environment and then choose which one and then add a, a solution one to really manage that type of printing or both if that's you know yeah. where it comes down to. Yeah, if I was going to give any advice is, is take a look at what's important for your organization. Is user, um, well, I would say user happiness, but that's probably a weird, but user adoption and user um, streamlining important to your organization? Like, do you want to make sure users can get their done, job done quickly? Then, you know, take that into account, right? Take every aspect into account and make the decision because it's not just about fixing the IT administrator's headache by taking one approach over the other, or it's not just about one application 
having a requirement, right? It's about your overall environment, like you said, a holistic approach to the whole thing. So, Yeah, and it might be a combination. Uh, in our experience, a lot of times, if, it, if we're talking VDI or terminal servers, a print server generally makes more sense there. Not sure. always, but most often. Uh, the, the flip side of it, if you have more of a desktop-based environment, mm -hmm. direct IP might be the better path to go. And so I think that's usually one of the first things we look at. And then the user experience, like you were talking yeah. about, those are all important aspects. Um, and, and some solutions will work in, in both those environments because oftentimes users do have some applications running on their desktop, some on a vir virtual desktop or delivered from the cloud, and you have to accommodate all of those. Yeah, and that's definitely what I found just in, in my pre-sales work you know, as, we, as we talk through some of these uh, approaches that folks are taking is that you know, some folks are talking about either bringing in more print servers or taking them out. Um, and what I find is it's never a, a clear cut you never get rid of all your print servers. Sure, that happens, obviously, but most of the time what I've seen is you never really get rid of your print server because there's always like some application out there that needs it. And vice versa, you never quite get rid of all your direct IP printing because there's always some user or some application that that's how they work, that's how that application works, it's a requirement. So it's important also to understand that it's not gonna be a one or the other approach. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be, I would say, 90, I would say a large, uh, portion of the time it's not. So again, just take a look at what, what you have in your environment and really understand what's important to your organization. Well, hopefully this kind of laid out the uh, different benefits of each type of printing, because uh, there's certainly uh, a list of positives on each side. Yeah. So uh, hopefully it presented uh, for information for your environment to take a look. Uh, we certainly love talking about printing all day, every day. It's quite literally what we do. <laughs> what's so. what we do. So we'd be happy to have those conversations and, and look at yeah. uh, what's best for, for you and your environment. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and thank you for the conversation. It was, it was great to talk about printers some more.